take the corn out. I'm not trying to take it. It was definitely my idea to paint in these, oh, I'm sorry, to paint in these even strokes. When it came to school and work, if we had any projects, you oh, know, I would okay. probably ace the project. Hey guys, I got good grades. Yes, he did. He pulled his grades up. I'm so freaking proud of him. That's why we went out dinner last night. Well, that's not why we were still gonna go, but it was a, party. It was a plus knowing that it could it was some kind of celebration, you know. It was a celebration for me. Was it? Was it enough? Yeah. Yes. But I am very, very, very proud of you. Yes. Gotta so keep it up, though. Okay. okay. Keep it up. Oh my God. You messing it up. See, that's why I have, I, I was always the one when we had pro school projects, I was always the one to be in charge of the arts and crafts part because I got that. I do it by myself. I don't need your help. You're gonna throw glitter on the wrong part. The, la the A don't be aligned with the L. Don't worry about it, I got it. But I'm trying not to do this project for him. I mean, not the whole project, but this part right here. I just knew that he's he has to put he has to make his Black History person, um, you know, like a school box. I mean, a school box, like a a cereal box. Are you gonna color the whole thing blue? No. Huh? No. Okay. I'm putting on some different colors for red. Are you gonna make different coats to make sure that you know nothing's peeking through? Am I doing the most? This part, you know, this is good. You know, as long as she can see it and as long as it's, you know, coated evenly. Meanwhile, he over here playing in the water. But if it's coated evenly, you know. And then this paint dries pretty fast, so we in there. But everything else, you're definitely going to be doing on your own because I done did. I done did first grade already. Okay. What am I Ouch. Come on. He got this Michael Jackson outfit on. Say so, hee hee. Oh, you know what I need? Toothpaste. I need to get some... No, I forgot the money. I need to get some change for the, um, <laughs> to buy the printed papers for the project. I think they're like 15 cents. You gonna stand right here? Yeah. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's day is going great. <gasps> Ew, gross. Gross, but uh, which one are you gonna do? Why you got Stevie Wonder in your hand? Even though he did contribute great music to I can do to our black history. So we can do it? Um if you want to, but there's a lot of different people to do. You know? You can do women, you can do men. There's uh, what about Theodore? Do you need to say something about Theodore Roosevelt? What's that? So freaking tired. Roosevelt. He ain't gonna cut uh -huh. this one. Um Shane, get over here. Get over here. This must be like the black history section right here. I see Thomas Jefferson over here. Is it Queen Latifah? Michelle Obama. Stupid. Stop. Which one do you see? What's up there? I don't know. It's just child books. 
Rosa Parks. That's just a child book. Rosa Parks. You know who Rosa is? No. You don't know who Rosa Parks is? Mm-mm. Did -hmm. should I feel some type of way? Because my son doesn't know half of who these people really are and what they contributed to our history. No. Or should it just be okay? Because it's like because it's literally about picking out African American um, African American famous people that have contributed to our history. So, in this sense, Shay, guess what? I think I found the most perfect one. Wilma Rudolph. No. Oh, she runs. She runs. She runs fast. He looks weird. You like Sonic Speed? I might as well be pulling freaking teeth. This little boy is about to drive me insane. Shane, are those black history books? Mm -hmm. Then come over here. Black history. This is what we're here for. Where are the ones you said it was over here? I did it over here. Look. Okay, let's go back on the other side and find a book, find a person you about to research on. You in here playing. Polio about their toes. Polio? Polio? Listen to the story. Polio is what the doctor told her parents. Polio was a disease that struck thousands of children each year. Some died from polio, others lost the use of their legs. Why? Who drink? So we are leaving this place. We didn't have water. Alright, open the door. They didn't have um any printer. I mean any ink. Go ahead, babe. Go. They didn't have any ink in their printer. Uh -uh. So we'll have to come back another day just to print out the, uh, oh, the car's over there. Just to print out, wait. <clears throat> Look at your shoes. Just to print out the paper work. Oh, there's daddy. Hello? Hey. Yeah, yeah, I'm just not leaving the um, library, so we'll be right over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. That's dope. Okay. Oh, my God. All right, cut. keep on shaping this shit. Hello, push it to push it to your right side. I mean your left side. Yeah. Harder. 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 No, to the left side. Yeah, like that. This isn't traumatic, is it? It's good. Push it. You're good. It's okay. Don't worry about the blood. It's alright. You got it. Push it to the left. Harder. 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 Oh my god. You got it, you got it, you got it. Man, you a G, dude. Come on, man, you got it. You don't want to wait till later? It's already, it's like 80% out. Man. Don't worry about the blood shot. What, daddy's gonna do it? Should I go get some tissue? Uh, no, nah, he's just gonna get some. I mean, yeah, I guess tissue for his hand. No, actually, he'll just wash it out. Uh, right. Hold steady, Shane, alright? 
Hey, bro. I told you. <laughs> there you go. Look at you. Let me see. Let me see. Smile. Oh, you are so cute. Uh, oh, my gosh. I just feel like that was a child born. Oh, you want to rinse that out? Happy G Day. Goodness, look at you. <laughs> I move over to Lane to dodge to get out of your way, and you decide to come over in the same lane I'm, I'm in. Where they do that at? Why are you in the lane with me? Did you see all this space and opportunity? <sighs> but y'all, that tooth pulling made me freaking nervous. Like, oh my gosh, my stomach was in my shoes. But I'm glad he got that tooth out because it was looking like it was just hanging on to dear, for dear life, onto that little piece of gum it was hanging on to. But it started looking like it was directly in the middle. And I figured, you know, you better hurry up and pull that out now because the back, the adult teeth are actually already starting to grow in. So, get that little baby tooth out. Let them grown up ass teeth come through. You know, show they way. Let them know.